Good morning, everybody. Steve Clutch here with WholesalingMarketingConsulting.com. Uh, today, we're going to get back into Podio. Uh, on yesterday's session, we uh, went over creating a free Podio account, uh, which is pretty simple. So if you haven't created your Podio yet, uh, you can get started for free, um, and that'll carry you quite a long way. And then today, what we're going to do is we're going to get into you know logging in and, and getting our workspace and our and our basic settings uh, set up. Uh, which I imagine a lot of you already have your Podio set up. So we are going to be going over some basics, but you know still pay attention. It's not going to be um, long before we start getting into some cool stuff, and you might pick up a few things along the way. So so we've already created the account. So if I just go to Podio.com here, I can click on log in. And then we can log in. So we're going to enter the email address that we used and our password. Okay. And then we're going to click log in. Very simple. Okay. So we can see here, um, and the, you know, Podio is really nice because they do do a lot of updates. Um, so when I first started using Podio, they didn't uh, pre-install all these apps. Um, so right here on the, the left panel, you can see this activity stream. Uh, this is a really good place to, to keep an eye on. Um, basically, everything that happens in your workspace um, is going to get summarized here. So you can see um, it says I installed all these, which I didn't. These just came automatically installed. Uh, but we can see we have a few um, applications that were already created. Um, the tutorial that, that, go, that happens when you first create your account, you know, basically uh, what it explains is the basic structure of Podio, right? So there's three things that you should um, be aware of. Is one is the big, uh, the biggest thing is the workspace. Okay, so your workspace is going to have um, the way I use it is for each market I use a different workspace. Okay, um, so I have in inside the workspace I'll invite you know the the people that are working on the phone, my acquisition manager, uh, the marketing team, VAs, um, that kind of stuff. Right. So if I'm Working in a different market with different acquisition manager, um, then I would I would create a different workspace um, for that. Okay, so the workspace is let's say like your market. Okay, and what we're going to do is create a new workspace here in a second. All right, um, so we can go ahead and do that, and then from a workspace, what you have is you have applications. Uh, so applications you might have might be like seller lead app, right? So where, where you're putting all your seller. Uh, information in you might have another app for buyers uh, something that's going to be uh, you know, like a different different web form or different field of of inputs which we'll go over in detail and then the third uh, thing to be aware of is the record which is the actual lead okay so you have your your workspace which is like your market you have your applications which are um, different things you're managing seller side buyer side um, maybe you have one to, to manage your direct mail and and then the record uh, which is going to be inside of the app uh, is going to be the actual leads, like the buyer lead, the seller lead, and so on. So you see in the top left corner here where it says choose a workspace. Um, this is a very uh, good place to go if you're picking, so I can see all these different workspaces um, that I have. So I could click on my different markets, um, but right now these are all uh, demo stuff. So we're going to go and create a new workspace right here. Okay, So we're going to click on the three bars, choose a workspace, and then click on create a workspace and then we're going to name it okay so let's name it uh, we'll name it new virtual market okay so normally I would put uh, maybe I would put like the the market name like I would put Philadelphia JV market or I would put uh, st. Louis JV market LA uh, so it's very easy for me to tell um, where it is okay and then I'm gonna make this a I'm gonna make this a private uh, network okay um, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to choose who I invite to the workspace okay I don't want everybody I'm working with to be able to jump into any workspace um, it's one it, it would be confusing um, because you know only one market might be relevant to that person uh, and I want to be able to control that okay uh, so I always recommend clicking on access setting as private okay and then we're gonna click the green button and create Okay, and so now I can add coworkers. Okay, and you can always go back and do this later. Okay, so that's not a big deal. And so let's add uh, let's add one of the phone guys. Okay. Um, okay, and he's not in here because it's a new market. So let me find his email address. 
Uh, so you can add people to the workspace simply by typing in their email address. They don't have to have Podio. They don't have to um, already be set up to receive this invitation. Okay. Okay. So let me just copy the email over here. And so I'll just type that email in here. And so what's going to happen is now Frank is going to get an email, and this is the message. Um, I usually just leave this generic um, because they know what's going on, but I could type a, uh, a special uh, message in here. So I have set up a, a Podio workspace with us. So I can say, hey, make it a little personal and say, hey, Frank, uh, just set up this demo space. Go ahead and join. I'll let you know when it goes active. Just stand by. And then type in, you're awesome. <laughs> okay? So normally I, I don't even mess with that. but uh, And then here's the, another thing to pay attention to. And um, actually, we can go over that as well right now. So there's different roles you can have in a workspace, which is really nice. Um, the workspace admin um, basically is, it allows you to do anything. Okay? So the issue. Um, or what you can control here is, you know, if it maybe if you don't want somebody to have the ability to delete your workspace, um, like maybe a new VA, um, you know, you haven't tested them out, maybe they get upset and they quit, or they um, they're just weird and they delete your workspace, and that's not good. Or maybe they just do it by accident, which I've seen, um, which is not good. Okay, so somebody like that, I might want to give them a light or a regular. Uh, but most people I'm going to be giving workspace admin to uh, just so they can edit everything. And uh, we can click right here on role detail and it will tell us all the different roles. Okay. So we can see here the workspace admin is like the master or the, or the, the one with the most role um, access. Okay. So um, you need to create a workspace with admin. So where are, okay. So the roles are. Here's a summary. Okay, perfect. So this is what we want. Um, space admin. So they can see all activity. So everyone can see all activity. Okay. Everyone can use all the apps, add and edit items. Uh, so item is record, like we were talking about, or the actual lead. And they can upload files. Uh, so you definitely, if somebody is working on a call team, uh, you definitely want them to be able to edit the items. That's very important. Okay. But as you can see, anybody, um, even a light user, can do that. Okay, write comments. We want people to be able to write comments, uh, and we'll go over why why you want that later. Create tasks is also very important. Um, create new organizations. I don't really care about. Write message to everyone. Yep, that's great. Create new apps. Okay, so here's the difference. So if you have someone that you don't want them creating new apps, um, you can give them a, a a light user, and they won't be able to do that. Um, that's not a big deal. I think a very simple instruction is don't create new apps uh, to somebody is gonna is gonna suffice. Um, add apps to the app market. Okay. Again, so this is the next level uh, regular user. Uh, invite people to workspace. Okay. Uh, so you can see these are some things that you know some a simple somebody on the call team or maybe a, a VA doing data entry. You know they don't need to be creating apps. They don't need to be adding apps to the app market. They don't need to be inviting people to the workspace. Um, and they certainly don't need to be deleting um, app items, okay, or leads. Um, uh, exporting data, okay, so this is a, a good feature as well. Um, th this kind of just comes with working with people um, in general. You know, if you're working with people, they're, they're, one way or another, they could, they could grab the leads or, or have a, a copy of them. Uh, but if you don't want them to have easy access to simply to uh, export or download all of the information to Excel, uh, you can give them a light role, okay? Creating reports, that's fine. Okay, so here's the difference between the regular and the admin, okay? Um, modify or delete other apps or workflows, um, you know, so usually I'm the only one uh, or, the, or the, you know, the local person. Usually one or two people are actually creating and editing apps and workflows. Uh, workflows are really cool and we'll go over that uh, when we get to it. Uh, delete other app items, right? Uh, record app, reorder apps in a workspace, change user permissions, uh, change space settings, okay? So it seems like they've actually changed um, a lot of this. The issue I used to have uh, with this is that if you didn't have workspace admin, you weren't able to edit the lead, um, which I don't like. I, you know, I like the phone people to be able to edit the lead. 
Uh, but now, uh, simply a light user can do that. So that's a great, uh, a great adju adjustment. Um, so those are the basic the roles. To keep it simple, you can just give everybody um, admin. Or another good way to, to do it is just to give people the lower permission. And then when they run into a roadblock and say, hey, I can't do this, then you can, uh, you can bump them up and, and change their role later, which you can do at, at any time. Okay? So we're, we're going to give Frank uh, workspace admin um, because he knows how to do everything, and I know he's not going to mess it up. Okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and click on that. And then, so what he's going to do is he's going to get an email. It's going to invite him to the workspace. Uh, I can already see his picture here. Okay, which is really cool. He was last logged in 19 hours ago, uh, so it looks like he hasn't logged in or, or made any changes in, in um, well, maybe, because it's a new one. Okay, but I'll tell you how long they were, you know, uh, when they were last seen in the workspace, which is kind of cool, because if that gets to, um, you know, 24, 48 hours, you know they, they took a day off or something, right? Or you can give them a call and say, hey, notice you haven't been in the workspace, okay? Um, and then if you want to add more people, to the workspace, you can simply click on this invite button here and you can invite more people. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the workspace uh, settings now. Okay, uh, the settings is always this little wrench. Okay, so you can see this uh, the wrench here, you can click on that, and then here are all your settings. So you can manage members, uh, which is where you would change permissions, uh, you can manage your apps. Uh, workspace settings, which is what we're going to do. You can share uh, your, your Podio apps with other people, leave the workspace, delete the workspace, uh, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the workspace settings and see what things we can do. So here we can change the name. Okay, so let's say, um, you know, I'm setting this up uh, just as a generic generic thing, and then I, and I start putting it into use, and I want to change it to the, the market name. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I can also put a description in here. Um, change URL. I'm not too, not too sure why we would want to do that. Um, stream settings. Post a message in the stream when new members join or leave. Yeah, we want to see that. Um, when apps are added, edited, or deleted, we definitely want to see that as well. And then we can also change the access settings here to open or private, like we talked about before. Okay. Um, so we actually don't need to do any of these uh, settings right now. So we'll just click on save, and we'll get back out here. Okay, and so anytime, so like I'm still on, I thought it was going to take me out of the screen. I'm like, oh, well, how do I get out of the screen? The, the, the easy way to do that is just to go back up here to choose a workspace and click on your workspace, and then you're back here on the home screen, right? We can see the activity uh, feed. We can see right here that we added uh, Frank to the workspace two minutes ago and that I was the one that did that, okay? Uh, so if people are randomly showing up in your, your workspace, you're not sure where they came from, you can check the activity stream and it will tell you, okay? Um, so that's basically how to set up a, a workspace. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start creating uh, applications so that we can start editing, managing, and working leads, okay? So we'll go over that on the next video. Uh, for now, uh, make sure that you're caught up on the, on the first two videos. Make sure you got your, Podio, uh, your free Podio account created. You've set up your first workspace um, and added somebody in there. And then we'll get into adding applications and, and getting into the meat and potatoes of this thing, okay? So I'll see you guys on the next session. And check out wholesalingmarketingconsulting.com to join us live and to check out our other content.